Hello, I'm Spastastic. Welcome to Spastastic TV. Today we're going to be looking at this little uh, voice recorder that I think I paid $21 for on Wish. I'm not going to be bothered, you know, to go back and look at that because that, that was including shipping. So, uh, yeah, what, what I have here is a little recorder. It has obviously a record button, speaker, you know, internal microphone. Um, you can actually uh, audio out if you can see that and uh, you know, a headphone jack, which I don't intend to use. But anyhow, let's turn it on. You turn it on by flipping this little switch. Um, it has the cheapest screen on it known to man. If you've actually used any of those cheap old MP3 players you can get off of the internet or out of a gumball machine or one of them Eclipse players. Now it starts off with music mode. Now I'm pretty sure you probably can't see music mode too well, but the little buttons that are on the side that are like forward and backward and whatnot that you can change it to voice mode. Now you can you can take it down to settings, but I'm not you can figure that out if you actually intend to purchase this device, but it's on voice mode. Now, the one thing on the settings I did do is I went and I changed the, the audio sample rate up to its maximum setting because beforehand it didn't sound that good. But anyhow, let's go ahead and get on uh, with seeing how well it records. Now, when you press the record button, sometimes it's a little finicky and takes a minute. Like, I got to press it again because the screen just lit up. But then it takes a second, and then all of a sudden, oh, now it's recording. So let me make a pop so I can actually, you know, sync up the audio. Pop. So this is what it sounds like with just the standard built-in microphone sampling at 384 kilobytes per second and uh, figured that would be just fine. Now this little device is a little finicky about um, stopping. So I'm going to press the stop button and it's not necessarily going to stop it right away. So you, pro so you heard a little pop on the thing because it's you know, not the highest quality made thing. But stop, damn it. So now we're back to the audio that's on my uh, VidPro XM8. Um, and this thing, you know, I'm going to have to do a jump cut here, but I'm going to show you a few of the little accessories that it comes with, which is, uh, well, you get your own little microphone on here, which this is the microphone it came with. It doesn't have a little foam ball, which I kind of wished it had on it. Um, I'll test that here in a second. Micro USB cable, that's how you transfer the audios from it to the, the, the files, so from that to the computer. I guess you could also do it with a microphone port. Now, this is the most interesting setup that it actually has right here, and it's... Uh, little pass through for your phone for your landline which I would show you and test it but seeing as that most people don't have landlines it seems kind of stupid but yeah no you just take the audio jack and you plug it into the microphone port on the top of here and then you pass through your phone line onto here and then you just record off of that and yeah it even has a little little freaking uh, RJ7 RJ9 feel free to correct me in the comments if you feel like it um, that's one thing that I'm not testing it comes with headphones and another thing that I'm going to be I'll be showing you is that is this uh, dollar microphone that I bought off of Wish that's actually sublime. So let's go ahead and let's plug in this uh, the microphone that it came with. Let's go ahead and stick that right in there. And uh, just as for a flow of a video, because I figured it'd be better just to test it right in front of you. Wait until the little light turns red. If it's going to turn red, it's not. There we go. Pop. So this is the microphone that it came with. I don't know if it sounds too good from being at a distance or being right up close. So hopefully I'm either not blowing your eardrums out or, uh, you know, sounding god awful with audio quality. So this is the microphone that it came with. I guess if it was right here, it would be a thing that would, you could also hear. And I keep looking at the viewfinder, kind of a little amateur move. But anyhow, let's go ahead and stop that. Stop it. Then back to the audio on the Viv, on the Vid Pro. Um, now, I would say that it does look like it says freaking uh, go into macro mode, damn it. Go into macro mode. You can do it. But anyhow, on the, on the thing, it claims that it has uh, stereo audio, of which I'm pretty convinced that it doesn't have stereo audio. So, yeah. But, you know, when I'm going to go plug this microphone in, before I get to that, it's like, why would I actually, uh, you know, bother to buy a cheap little device like this when I can go buy one of those Olympus ones over at Walmart? Is because, well... Those cost forty dollars. This cost twenty one, and uh, I figured might as well show you the cheapest option. But let's go ahead and I'll just show you with with the microphone that I know is actually really good. So get it. Record, damn it. All right. So now uh, this is recording with a little mic right here. I guess I could just stick it right here. I got, I could clip it to my shirt and you know be a little bit more professional. But anyhow, this is the good microphone that I did. This is the dollar mic microphone. I've used this for a few videos on my channel already and uh, only problem with it is it doesn't have the third ring so I can't plug it into my laptop without using an adapter but that's 
But that's just shit that goes on behind the scenes that I don't really need to explain unless you really want me to explain it. I, I'd be more than happy to. But let's go ahead and stop the recording on that. Now, if it actually sounded better with me using this, which I'm actually assuming it probably did because then you don't get as much echo. Because, you know, I got loading blankets all around here and a couple of little foam pads, you know, dampen down the audio in here. I mean, if you actually walk into this room, it's a little weird because everything sounds bassy instead of like tinny. Probably not coming through over too good on the microphone. But anyhow, the only thing that I can say about this is that it, they, they, these come in at various different numbers. It was like the only other review I found on this on YouTube. Um, I don't remember the guy's name at the moment. And I'm not going to be bothered to put his name in on text because, you know, when you have a product review channel, it takes you four and a half fucking minutes to get to your actual re product review. I don't want to watch your crap. And that's the reason why I do my half ass product reviews in the way that I do, where I just get right into it. No unboxings here. But, you know, go ahead and turn it off. I mean, there's a few little things where you can go through the menus and you can select and delete stuff. But, you know, it's got a volume control. I guess I could probably, you know, turn it back on and, uh, you know, show you how the, the speaker in this thing isn't the world's greatest. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, wait for it to turn back on. It, that, that takes a minute. It also takes a minute to transfer files to your computer. And when you do transfer files to your computer, it uh, does uh, take a minute for it to start playing. Actually, I'm not, I'm not going to get into that because you've already heard the audio. Just, just The speaker that's in here is okay, but from what I experience with voice recorders, is the built-in speakers aren't very good anyway. I mean, you can understand what you're, what's being said on it as long as you turn the volume down because if you have it on the setting that it has and then you start talking about this loud, um, it comes out really loudly to the point where it'll scare you. It also plays it on a loop. Of course, you'd know that if you watch shows like Ghost Adventures. But yeah, the only only concern I have with this, and oh by the way, it's also rechargeable. You can just recharge it via micro USB. The only other thing that I have I have to say about this is that I don't know about the build quality. I mean, it's it feels all right. It's got a decent weight to it. This I I don't know if it's just really thick chrome plating, but that actually feels like it's metal. Switch isn't. The rest of the it obviously isn't. But I don't think this thing would survive if you left it in a hot car one time because I've had a lot of MP3 players that didn't work after I left them in a car for a day. So that's a thing. But you know, if you're looking at voice recorders like this or you want to see me do more do more reviews on, on voice recorders or anything like that, you know, go ahead and feel free to talk to say that down in the comments section because apparently these are really hard to do product reviews on. I've just proved that to be false. But anyhow, I'm Spastastic. Thank you for watching. Lab Techno Musical Play Now. Ooh.